Egg Wars is a difficult game. Unless you've been playing Egg Wars for three years like me, you probably have trouble with uh, everything. Don't worry, I'm going to help you by going through tips and strategies to improve your Egg Wars PvP, game sense, and planning. I can guarantee that by the end of this video, you will have learned at least one new tip. So let's go! The first thing I see many players do wrong when they play Egg Wars is focus too much on their own egg. Some players will dedicate their entire game to give the egg a monstrous obsidian defense. The only problem with that is literally everything. The best pickaxes in the game can easily break through obsidian, making your hard work a complete waste of time. Instead of making your egg look like the pentagon, try using that time to break other players' eggs or get better gear for yourself. This leads nicely into the second tip. If you do lose your egg, remember, the game is not over. You only lose the game if you die after your egg breaks. What I'm saying is don't give up. If your egg gets broken, just play more carefully and don't die. Think of the game now not as Egg Wars, but as Sky Wars with a shop. If you lose your egg during your first rushes, don't sweat it. All this means is you don't have to worry about protecting it. Just be more careful and choose your fights wisely. Fight or flight. Let's say you get into the worst situation in Egg Wars. You died and your egg breaks as you respawn. Many players first idea is to go and punch the player who broke their egg, but this is a zero IQ play. Many people forget that after you die, you respawn with 5 seconds of spawn protection. You only lose spawn protection after 5 seconds or if you punch someone. Use those 5 seconds to get as far away as possible from the enemy who just broke your egg. This way, you can safely get to another base, and it buys you time to gear back up and actually have a fighting chance. So basically, always choose flight. The Void When you are fighting with someone who has the same or better gear as you, never think, oh, I'll just click faster than them and win. I'm gonna be honest with you, you will never win. Instead, always try to push your opponent towards the Void. By simply knocking them off the island, it's an instant win for you. But remember, this goes the other way too. If you get knocked off the island, it's an instant loss. So when in a PvP encounter, always try to have your back on a block or facing the center of the island. This way, it will be much harder for your opponent to hit you in a direction that will knock you off the island. This next tip has to do with healing during PvP. Cubecraft has a very unique PvP system that Hive and Hypixel doesn't, where eating food actually heals you. When you are in a fight, you will find after you lose 3 or more hearts, your food will start to go down. As soon as you see your hunger bar go down, get to a safe place where you can't be knocked in the void and eat either a piece of steak or a golden apple. Knowing when the right time to eat during a PvP encounter is, is an art that comes with practice. If you eat too late, or eat in a bad position, you die. To avoid this, I say try to eat as soon and as much as possible during PvP. Egg Wars is all about speed. Who can get the gear the fastest, who can win the fastest, who can rage quit the fastest. One thing I always see players forget is to set up a favorite item shop. The favorite shop it has a quick buy menu at the very top of the shop. To set up your own favorite shop, scroll to the bottom of the shop and select which item will be in which slot. You can put anything you want, but for reference, this is my quick shop. It has everything you need for basic gear. Higher ground. There's this one song from this one cartoon that goes Can we get much higher? So high. Not many people know this, but that song was actually made to promote an egg war strategy, building up. Anytime you bridge to an opponent's base, by simply getting the higher ground, you can control when to strike and your enemy won't be able to run away. Just don't build up too high. Eggs. Don't you just want to smash him? Well that's exactly what you should do. In egg wars, if you see an egg, Get it! The faster all the eggs break, the faster the game, and hopefully your win, will be. Don't be afraid to just pop an egg if you are walking by. In the end, it will do you more good than if you just leave it for later. This tip is a mistake I see way too many new players do. It's something called suicide jumping. Suicide jumping is when you are so desperate to try and kill your opponent that you literally kill yourself too. The most common time this happens is when you deliberately jump off a bridge to get a good angle to knock your opponent off too. WRONG! First, I want to say that if you do this, second, it's much easier to do this. Instead, simply get to the end of a bridge and turn around. Now you put your enemy in a bad situation. Either they try to brute force their way to you, which is a bad idea for them, because you can easily get a good angle to knock them off, or they have to build up so you can't reach them. 
If they start building up, this will buy you time to continue running. If you use these tips in your gameplay, I can guarantee you will see improvement in your game sense and PvP. If you want to learn exactly how to win Egg Wars, watch this video that just popped up on the screen.